Today, guys, if you've had a love-hate relationship with a hybrid, then I want you to join me today, because I've certainly had that over years, never really had one in the golf bag, and today we're testing something exceptionally different, something that everyone might comment on there, might get some comments below. It looks like the old Adams Idea hybrids, which you'll see on screen now, and I think it certainly does. It's a club that I've heard rave reviews about, and I have been trying to get my hands on it for a while, but James Robinson lost it in his garage, and he's only just found it after a bit of a tidy out, which has only took six months. But let's get into it, let's see how it does on this par five, and let's see if it's as good as what everybody said. And for me, the biggest thing I've struggled with with hybrids is the look behind the golf ball. And this is certainly different, and you'll see that on the screen now. Again, a very different looking down there. A bit of a combination of a driving iron and a hybrid. A very deep face there compared to some of the hybrids that I've tried this year. Again, one of the best hybrids that I've been using, which has just been in the simulator, is the Paradigm Hybrid. Certainly a little bit more old school looking, looks a little bit rounder to me, sits nice, not too much offset. This looks extremely strong and certainly looks different behind the golf ball. Very interesting to see Dave try something like this, but he'd only be bothered if it was a good deal. I have to say that sound, a little bit tinny for me, but a fantastic ball fight and came off extra fast. <laughs> Didn't fly too high there, a nice penetrating ball fight. Be interesting to see where it is down there, but now the test for this club is going to be seen is can we do a low ball fight towards the green? Can we get it high if we would be hitting this into a green? This again is a hybrid that you might use on a par three, into a par four, into a par five. So we need to see can we generate that height? And the club that I haven't mentioned yet, although you have seen it, is the Tor Exotic C. 723 hybrid so let's talk a little bit about the tech and then let's see what we can do towards the green and again before we talk tech what a fantastic drive down here at Alzora that off the tee has gone 262 yards leaving me 245 so should we agree that I should be able to get to in two with this hybrid so potentially a fantastic club to have in the bag it certainly proved it there off the tee one shot straight out of the middle nice ball flight a long distance now, how will it do into the green? Can I hit it a little bit higher, get it landing soft and making the green? Or is it still going to come out extremely low? Don't forget, it is a 17 degree hybrid. But before I test it for two different flights, the tech wise, we do have the diamond face technology again, which it is contributing to that sound. So it's something that is certainly making me feel like that is a different sound to some of the other hybrids on the market at the moment. We also have the Razor Soul, which is what it says is to produce a high launch with low spin. So very interesting there. I was able to launch it low. I wasn't trying to. I just put a normal golf swing on that because after all, we're all everyday golfers. We don't know what flight we're going to get every single time. But just from that there, it was able to launch low. And distance wise, straight away, we're able to see that that got out there at 262 yards. But now how does it fare into the green? Because I am going to need something that is high launching and low spinning to get there. I'd say that's a mid flight. That's another fantastically struck one. Launch at a great flight. And I could get used to that sound. That sound is something that is a, is a combination of obviously the materials there. But I don't mind that. It's not so off-putting. I wouldn't be doing If it's going to produce flights like that, I'd be more than happy to put this in the bag. We don't see it too often in England. We don't see Tour Age, Tour Age Exotics in the UK much. We know in the US there is a big market. This is still online for around about $269. So very interesting price-wise there that it's still pretty high price. We know that obviously hybrids have gone up to around about 250 to 300 depending which brand you are going for. So certainly not the cheapest hybrid on the market but performing exceptionally well. I do like it. But now can I get that one? I want to get one really high here so I'm going to put it a little bit further forwards in my stance and try and get this one to launch and then see what that does to the distance. Does it still get there or does it give too much spin? the one that's a fantastic high flight does look low spinning because it's not going too high it still looks like it's going a good distance let's get up there and see though so the first ball is a max fly the second ball that was a little bit higher struck just as well 
was a strike. But very interesting, guys. You'll see on screen now that Adams have made a little bit of a comeback. So they are reselling. They are back in action. I believe it's under one of the major brand's wings. They are coming in a lot cheaper than this Tour Exotic. It's a similar looking club. But after all, we have got the diamond face in here. We have got the Razor Soul. Technology is working. So is the price right so far? I think so. So 250 yards into the breeze, we can see up just up just short of the green on the front edge is the max fly. And we can see that higher ball flight has done exceptionally well to finish there. It's probably playing around about 280 into that breeze, but two good hits close to a par five in two there. I'd be more than happy. It's probably not the club I'll be taking off the tee, but there into the green, I did feel confident over it. For me, that little bit of a smaller shape, more like a driving iron, certainly suited my eye. So let's go on to the next tee. Let's put it to the test against an actual driving iron. How do the flights compare? How do the sounds compare? And after all, how do they perform out here at Alzora? I believe there's the new clubhouse which will be opening soon. So I'm going to put it to the test against the Tacoma 101U 2 iron. So 18 degrees, so very similar loft wise, certainly a different look behind the golf ball, a little bit more sleeker from this utility iron. But for me, it's all down to performance. This utility is coming in at around about $125, so certainly a lot cheaper, but how does it perform? Is that better than most of the hybrids I've tested? I'm gonna say yes. Is it probably directed closer towards the better player? I would say so. If you're 15 and below and you're wanting to get something that maybe replaces that firewood, you don't like, you're not getting on with your firewood, you want something that can be a little bit versatile, then that could be the perfect club for you. Your other option, obviously at that handicap, would be to go for something like a utility iron, but if that comes out a little bit too low for you, the hybrid's gonna give you that little bit more forgiveness, then it could be a fantastic option. But Tour Edge Exotics have certainly brought out some fantastic products this year. What will next year bring? Little fade there, launched. Certainly launched higher there, which I'm surprised at, but launched a little bit higher there. Let's see there. And now after hitting that iron, which I've had in my bag for a while and have been playing really well with, it's interesting to hear that sound. I'm actually now preferring the sound of this Tour Edge Exotic. So I know a lot of people do comment saying sound doesn't matter. And it is performance, which I do agree. But the sound is actually quite nice. And that's another one. A poor swing there, a slight miss it off the toe, but straight down the middle. That's where the forgiveness for me from a hybrid might trump the driving iron, depending on what handicap you are. For me, I'm a PGA professional. I still don't hit the middle of the club very often. So maybe next year I have to think about that. Am I gonna put something like this hybrid in? There's not many of those on the market. Shall I get the Adams to test? Shall we see if I can get hold of some of those? Maybe for myself to test, and maybe for the mid handicap Dave to test, see what options you want. Guys, comment below, what hybrids are you using? Have you got any Tour Edge exotic product? If you have, what have you got and how's it going? Because I know they've had some fantastic clubs out this year.